Welcome back everyone, Criminal Nurture here, time for some more Project Zomboid. So, we died last time, and then I took a little break, because I had family in town and didn't have time to record. Um, but we're back, and I think I'm going to do a little challenge play, uh, just, just for a little bit here, and then I'll go back to normal play. Um, but I, I haven't done, I haven't attempted this a really CDDA in a long time. Um, it says, you get out of the shower and fall badly. You're blind drunk and have a nasty cold. On top of that, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. Challenge inspired by a really bad day from the awesome, wonderful, must play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, which is a ASCII based, um, roguelike zombie game. Which I sadly have never been able to get into. I've, I've attempted it on my own a couple of times, and I have trouble with those ASCII games. I, I want to love them. I want to love them so badly, but I can never quite seem to get over the hump. Uh, Dwarf Fortress, NetHack, Cataclysm, etc. But that's neither here nor there. Let's jump in. Let's uh, randomize. Where's my random button? There it is. Terry Hernandez. Uh, C. Archer Hernandez is probably not long for this world. I usually do pretty poorly in this mat in this uh, play mode. <laughs> All right, so what we what can we do that's tough to begin with? Need somebody who's a tough guy. Lumberjack, maybe. Yeah, let's go with a lumberjack. We'll start with lumberjack. And then what do we need? What what will make our guy better? Thick skin's always good. Stout's always good. What else? Um, sprinting is probably a good one. If we can pull it off. Runner. I'll add the trait. Probably have to take it out, but I'll give it a shot. Alright, let's see. We need 16 points. Eh, this is going to be a problem. Alright, so... High thirst is okay. Um, slow healers might not be so great because we start um, hurt. I might be not. That might not be that bad. Unfit. What am I? What can we do here? Out of shape. Asthmatic. Unlucky. Smoker. Prone to illness is fine. Weak stomach is fine. Hemophobic is fine. Alright, that's back to zero. Let's see if we can do anything better. Slow reader is free points, pretty much. Hard of hearing, cowardly. I think that might be all we need. So we have two more points to spend. Transfer items quicker. Outdoorsman, wakeful. All right, so the options are Wakeful, Outdoorsman, Dexterous, or Cat Eyes. I'll take Outdoorsman, I think. So yeah, so let's give this a shot. I'm going to save this as, um, I don't know, CDDA. Just, just so I don't have to do this again when we are most likely going to die. <laughs> Last time I did this, I died like three or four times in quick succession. So... So we'll see. I don't know why I have trouble with this one. I shouldn't. It's not that much difficult, different than playing on an insane level. But uh, I guess it's the. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Anything? Dish towel. Nothing else. Ah, I got burned. Damn it! I can't put out my own burn. Yep, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a, a quick death, I think. Sometimes sometimes the burning yeah, this is this is toast. Or it's totally those. At you, yep. Terminal damage, there you go. <laughs> I told you we'd die a couple of times in quick succession. Let's try that again. <laughs> um Alright, so let's see solo. There you go. I'm not going to bother to name this guy since he's probably be dead very soon. Take this. I'll we'll play. Um, sometimes you actually get in the fire. I have a couple of times started this game and the fire has been in such a place that I can't, I literally can't leave the room. But we'll see. Like this. Look. See? 
Impossible to leave the room. How do you put out fire? Isn't there a way to put out fire? I guess maybe you need stuff to do it. Yeah, see, like this, I, I literally can't leave this room without, uh, without getting fire on me. Unless we get lucky and this thing um, goes out. We're gonna go right into a fire. Uh, oh, we got out without getting on fire. Oh, good for us. Oh, I forgot we were drunk. I'm a little wobbly. Oh, I hate when the controls don't respond to you because you're drunk. Oh, don't bite me. I'm busy. Trying not to die. Health panel, there you go. Okay. Oh, oof. Stupid controls. It's always right in the groin, too. Oh, hey, actually, yep, let's uh let's push in the right direction here. Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Do it, do it, do it. There you go. Ooh, that'll that should stim stim the tide a little bit. Nothing. Alright. Rip up another set of nope. All right, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm honestly, not really sure how you're supposed to accomplish this task. There's just too many, too many zombies too quickly, and you're drunk and you can't, can't control yourself. Stupid, stupid drunkenness. There we go. Water bottle. I want that. Why? You can't get that water bottle. I can't get anything. Damn it! Ugh. I hate you. Why am I running upstairs? This is the worst idea ever. Oh, I just got bit? No? Why did I run upstairs? Seriously, why am I up here? Who thought this was a good idea? And I just got bit. Scratched. Okay. And get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. I'm just gonna run into the wilderness, I think, for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, we're dead. We're already dead. It's, that's not going anywhere. Let's go this way. I really need this drunk, this uh, drunkness to go away. There's like a a uh, place over here. Usually. There we go. That's where I was trying to get to. There's like a crate over here, which may or may not have could. If it has something in it. It's all the all the uh, all the better. All right, so let's see. Anything? No, of course not. Let's see if I can get back over here. Probably a whole crap ton of zombies in there. Okay, so far so okay. Oh, zombie. Hello, zombie. Alright, we got nothing in there, nothing in there. Come on, refrigerator. Alright, eat that beef jerky. Oh, I saw a butter knife. I need this. I need this. I need this. 
I need to drink some water. Come on, I hate, I can't never get, screw it. Anything, nothing, nothing. All right, let's get out the window, out the window. Come on, get out the window, get out the window. There we go, ooh, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I, you know what, I didn't ever really think about the fact that we're not wearing any pants. That's probably something we should fix. Hello, zombie. Where? I put them in my inventory. Did not actually get them on me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll get rid of that. Right, let's see if we can get in here. It's so slow. Hey, get away from me. Oh, there's two of you. Come on. I don't have time for this. Where this? There you go. Newspaper. Not useful. Chips. Eat them. Kitchen knife. Equip it. Nothing in there. More beef jerky. What's that? Nails? Completely useless right now. I'm going to take them anyways. Alright. You know, we could have we could totally be zombified from that one scratch we got too. Which would be kind of hilarious considering I'm actually doing okay. You know, as <laughs> as these starts go anyways. Try and I'm gonna try to bundle some of the zombies in this area up and lead them away because it seems to be like the only tactic that's gonna work for us. Everyone, come with me. I need you all to come with me. It's still very cold. Alright, so I got a little bit of daylight here. The screen is kind of in my way, but I don't want to take it down. So if I go down here. Oh, still a lot of zombies down here. Didn't really work, did it? Starting to sober up I think which is helpful Let's see what we can get in here canned peas I'll take nothing in the refrigerator nothing another kitchen knife I'll take that oh I forgot to close the window that was done with me. I'll switch to a sweater here. Might uh, hope I'll stay a little warmer. Perfume, bleach. Drink some water. Okay, let's go. Right, 
Oh, it's in my way again. Let's eat this. Oh man, all right. Get a little bit of healing there, which is good. Slight panic, moderate exertion. I'm sure we've got all kinds of, uh, all kinds of infection going on in our groin injury. This is one of these situations where, I, I know it's for a challenge, but it's like, how did this happen without him noticing? Did you just take a really long shower? Oh, suddenly I'm faster. Something just cleared. Some sort of status effect just cleared, because I'm suddenly much faster. Alright, I'm gonna try to... Try to get these guys away here. This is not the room I wanted to be in. This is the room I wanted to be in. Canned stuff. Canned stuff is not so useful for me. Pencils. Dish towel. Sugar. Alright, let's get out of here. This is not working. Yep, I don't know what cleared on me. Something did. But I'm definitely a lot faster now. Alright, so this is where we started. Because this is our house. Our ex house. Now a burning remnant. Anything in here? I don't think anything's in here. All right, uh, what do we do now? <laughs> I don't even really know where to start to, to try and um, gain some security here. Move, move. Run, run, run. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Not sure how I pulled that off, but there you go. Not sure how I'm still alive. Not sure how. Look at that. Killed a bunch of zombies right around my base. those matches in a saucepan not helpful bowl and a fork glue none of this is helpful to me seriously guys oh there it broke Thing I have another one. Oh, hello, giant pile of zombies. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make a little bit of a a bold move here. I'm gonna drink this. Just a little bit of healing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Wait, is it dang did that say dangerous undercooked? Yeah, dangerous undercooked. Never mind. We are gonna make a break for the warehouse. Probably will not work out for us. But I'm just curious to see. Oh, hello, large pile of zombies. Did not know you would be here. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Trying to get to the warehouse. Alright, so... Let's be at least moderately smart about this. We're gonna take all of these zombies, all the zombies we can find. Collect as many of them as we can. And we're gonna take them away. Everybody's gonna come with me. We're going to go for a nice little walk. Alright, everybody wants to come with me, right this way? Doesn't this seem like fun? Let's see if we can corral all these loose zombies down here. Don't go towards the warehouse. Come with me. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright, we're gonna do a nice circle here. Come on. Uh, there we go. Okay. That was a little tight. Hold it off. Take them as far away as we can manage. I'm actually there's like a there's like a turn back up higher that down this road, which is where I'm heading towards. Not sure how many of the zombies will actually follow us that far, but we'll see. Alright, so if we come out this way and then try and slip through the trees. And there'll be zombies on the other side of the trees, is what'll happen. <laughs> They're all filtering back in. So this is the problem when you've got groups this big is that they push each other apart so hard that you end up with not really usable... Um, you can't use a lot of the same strategies. Rotten food, alright. Twine, nails... Looking for anything useful. Bats. Shovels. That well that's uh that's a welcome addition. They don't last very long, but they would do a lot of damage and they're quick. Hammer, I'll take that. Yeah, as I say, I think some of them broke in. Another shovel. Shotgun shells. Like we'll ever live long enough to use those. Another shovel. Watering can. You guys want to keep coming at me one and one, one at a time. I can do that all day. I saw something over here. Guess not. Nope, nope. Come on. Coal. 
Metal tube. Metal tube should be able to be used as, as attack weapons, I think. You're taking suggestions, Indy Stone. Metal tubes. Let us use them to kill people with. Not sure if they didn't actually manage to hurt me. Yeah, I guess they didn't. I, was like, I wasn't sure if they didn't manage to hurt me or if I actually just, uh... Alright, so... Let's slide up here a little bit. Oh, hello. <gasps> Duct tape. Comic book. I'll take that comic book. It's good for stress and what what's not. That and we'll go up to the third story where there's a bunch of zombies, or just one, I guess. I thought there was more than one. Thought I saw more than one. Oh yeah, I did see more than one. All right, and on that note, I'm gonna stop here. Um, yeah, uh, that's interesting. I imagine we'll die quickly in the next episode, but uh, but yeah, we survived. Uh, pretty much a whole episode, and I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.